Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, she created a watch that can monitor your health, such as your glucose levels for diabetics. He created an armband that links to an app on your phone and alerts parents if their child strays too far. I need that. I just need that in my I house. I both even. of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These inventions earned Terry Lee Heuvel and Rhys van der Merwe first and second place at the National Junior Achiever South Africa Young Movers Competition. It's safe to say that the future is in good hands. Wow, you guys are amazing. And welcome to the show to you as well. So you, I mean, you must be inspiring these young minds constantly because it's unheard of for two children to achieve this to come from the same school. Hey. That is true. I'm very passionate about developing young people. I, um, I really get very excited when I see that yeah. coming out. So when we start the program normally, I do identify that one's going to be a manager, that one's going to be a general manager. So as part of the junior achievement program, we develop entrepreneurs and we try to get them to think out of the box and that's exactly what happened with Terry and Reese. So, so and what is the, the first brief, that they've got to invent something or do they have to work together as a group? And what is, their, what is the goal? What is their, their brief initially? The brief that they get originally is that they need to come up with an in innovative product yeah. and it's their own. That's yeah. why it's a solo thing. They're part of a company as a whole mm -hmm. yeah. and they run a full-on company with management and all the drama of HR. <laughs> this was the financial manager and oh, he still okay. owes me things. So, Do you, you know, know, I remember being part of Young Achievers and yeah. we were making basic things. Hey, we were making lip ices and candles. <laughs> and, I mean, this is like, <laughs> I'm, I'm giving away my age. Th but this is why you're TV presenter, <laughs> not Elon <laughs> Musk. <laughs> The whole group was making the candles. <laughs> but um, what did you first think when you heard about this competition and looked at the task that was ahead of you? Okay, so like me personally, um, I try to take and grasp every opportunity that comes my way and, you know, like I make the best of it. So when I when I heard of this competition, I heard like we're going to fly, we're going we're gonna to live in a hotel and immediately like, bo -bo, that, just, that got me started. But like um, on a serious note, like I always try to do my best and, you know, to, um, to try my best. So for me... Um, I saw that there were lots of people disappearing within South Africa and the world as a whole okay. on a daily basis. And also, like, um, that's a scary phenomenon. Sure. So, like, I came up with the parental control system, and what that does is um, you can set the app. Um, it comes with an app in a wristband, so you mm -hmm. set the app. So if your child exceeds a certain distance from you, it will alert you immediately, and then you are then able to counter that. Can I so you can my set, car keys as well. So exactly. can you set the parameters where you know they're supposed to be? Like, I know if he's at school, then he's in that area, and if he's at his friend's house, he's in that area. Definitely, definitely. And if they leave those areas, then it will alert me as soon as possible. Yes, yes. That's so, genius. Amazing. And then also, like, um, the, the wristband also has a little pan panic button on it. So, like, for example, if your child is at the school and he, um, you know, suck, um, sees any suspicious behavior, whatever, he will, like, press the <gasps> panic button and it would able this to... This has to go into production. You're yeah. going to be so rich. I'm telling you, about. <laughs> like, oh, what? And then it'll, it'll call the cops and everything... Whatever helps you no, no, the no, so like it will alert you immediately, and mm -hmm. then you would then you know um, react course. as soon as yeah. possible. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Now tell me about the one that you did. Well, first of all, well, the reason why I specifically thought about this product, I didn't just think worldwide, but I thought in my own family, in my home, because quite around me, there's quite a lot of people, my family members, that are really sick that need help and that instead of going always to hospital or actually needing to prick themselves all the time, I thought that they'd rather invent a wristband or try and make something that will make their lives easier, yeah. not just for them, but for everyone else that actually needs it, especially those for the pure, for the um, for the poor ones that, for example, doesn't have the, enough money to go for insulin or to keep them um, or keep monitoring them their blood and the sugar all the time. So what my wristband can do is, it's a three, it's a three based wristband. So it indicates your blood levels, your sugar levels, and it shows um, once your body goes into tension. So for example, you're out of your comfort zone or something, you, you just don't feel yourself, then that wristband would indicate that your body is um, your body is not right. And if your sugar is um, too high or too low, that beep will go off and the red light will go off showing you, okay, your body is not right, and it will actually show you your levels. 
So for me personally, it was a personal experience. That's amazing. Well. I'm so, so, what so is blown the away. Process now? <laughs> so, so you've invented this, and is it now in manufacturing process? Not as yet. Okay, it's so like, be. Um, yeah. So we like um, present our ideas to the judges, yeah. and they obviously, you know, um, choose the top three, and then from there, um, you know, external sources would then, um, if they find the idea fascinating or they think that like this the idea, Dragon's Den kind yeah, of thing. that type of yeah. thing, and they think it will um, like do good Work. on the market and it, it, it will. It will sell like hotcakes, you know, <laughs> then they're going to invest and the idea will actually become reality and that type <gasps> of thing. So you guys have won. Has anybody expressed interest in investing? Because Bonnie's got lots of money. I'm sure she'll give you money now. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, for me, there was a few people, but we'll take it from where we are. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And for you as well? Um, for me, um, like, not, not as yet, but like, I do feel... If you know word gets out there, well, it's out there. It's, it's out, out there. there. <laughs> Hello, South Africa. Yeah, people with dollar bills. I, I've got two little boys, and I yeah. want this device. Yeah, Definitely. I want both I of those devices. I actually encourage this even to partner with an NGO because yeah. often funding is the challenge around getting the product out there. So I did encourage him, you know, to work on a business plan, and sure. those are all the things that they are taught in the Twenty Big Program that I run to run a business plan to source funding because they fund their own programs, yeah. they get paid out, they share money at the end of it. So that is the way that we are thinking. And then I try to, you know, wherever I network and stuff like that, if there's interest yeah. that is expressed, and then we try to take and it from them. them. Because a lot of big businesses that's will right. hear that and then try and steal that's their right. ideas. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just that's protecting right. their, their yes. you know, property, their, their yeah. intellectual mm -hmm. genius. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. I could yes. just kiss you. <laughs> Hug you. I'm really, really well done. Yeah. Really, really well done. Thank I'm so you. proud of you. Thanks.